what's going on guys? It's me, the Incredible Greek. Welcome back for a brand new video. So, guys, I've not done this, I've not done this sort of video in a long while. This is a new video to my dumbass stuff playlist, my dumbass stuff series. And uh, yeah, so I've got the list down below, the playlist down below. So in that playlist, there's like dumbass tattoos, dumbass hairstyles, uh, dumb, uh, dumbass uh, mistranslated signs and dumbass like, comments on Twitter. So if you like this sort of video and you want to see more, there's a link down below uh, you know, to those videos. So enjoy those. So anyway, guys, today, today, guys, we're going to be uh, looking at the most dumbass questions ever asked by mankind. <laughs> How do I ask a question on Yahoo Answers? Please help. I need to ask a, an urgent question. Jenny, I'll tell you how. First, you go to Yahoo Answers, which you have. You make an account on Yahoo Answers, which you have. And you simply type in a question. Which you already have. You've already done it. She's already done it. Why is she... So that's basically her first question that she's ever made on this website. How do I ask a question on a website that allows you to ask questions? It's just... Oh my god, Jenny. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. God help you. How am I sure I'm the real mum of my kid? How am I sure that I'm the real mum of my kid? I just had a baby, and it looks more like the man <laughs> I had my baby with. It doesn't look like me at all, and I'm scared that he was cheating on me with another lady, and I had her kid. What? This child is the best thing that has ever happened to me, and I can't imagine giving my baby to the real mum. How do I... How do I... baby came out of your vagina! Right, so, so let me get this straight. The baby has taken on more of the features of the father and you think the baby belongs to another woman, even though the baby came out of your bloody vagina. How does that make sense? That does not make no sense. You think the baby not, might not be yours because it looks like the father more. Even though it it came out of your yo-ho. Yo-ho? <laughs> it, came, it came out of you. Of course it's your baby. If you're that uncertain, destiny, get a blood test done. Jesus Christ. Can I tell by the smell of my husband's gas if he's been cheating? I know this sounds crazy, but... Hubs usually has his own smell. The family always knows when he has passed gas, even if he tries to be funny and blame it on the dog. Lately, he's had to work late a few times, and each time he's come home and his gas has smelled unlike anything I've ever smelled from him. Kind of like maybe <laughs> he had Thai food or something. He says he has only been at work and not anywhere else but something is definitely different do you think he's cheating oh my god right so guys guys be very careful yeah if your farts smell different that means you're cheating you run the risk of getting exposed as a cheater because you know your wife or your girlfriend will smell it wait a second your farts don't smell like eggs it smells completely different! You cheating bastard! Um, maybe because, I don't know, maybe he just chose to change his diet. Maybe he's been eating something lately that he likes and it just gives him bad ga gas. That is, oh my god. That is, that is really, really stupid question. <laughs> How do I test if my son is gay? I'm worried my son might be gay. I want to get him checked. 
Isn't it possible to get a hormone check? What? Can't a doctor indicate if he is gay or not? What the fuck are you talking about? Gayness is not a genetic thing. It's a decision. It's a decision. What's the... Anyway, my son has almost no muscles and narrow shoulders. He also has blue eyes. He talks in a very high voice and when he sings, he sounds like a castrato. What the fuck is that? Clearly, <laughs> this person does not understand the concept of being gay. <laughs> it's gay, gayness, g being gay is not a scientific thing, really. It's a decision. It's something you decide with your heart, I guess. You know, you, you know if you're a person out there who just finds men, men attractive, then that's, and you want to be gay, that's, that's, that's just your decision. I don't... There's no scientific test, okay? There's no scientific test. Or is there? Let's take a blood sample, Mr. Braga. If instead of human blood, you find a deadly corrosive acid, you've got a gay. Not this time, Nancy boy. I was bitten by a turtle when I was a young lad. Can I still drink orange juice? What's being what is being bitten by a turtle got to do with you drinking orange juice? What so you say me ever since he was a young lad he's not drink orange juice. And he's finding out whether he can still What do you think's gonna happen if you drink orange juice? Oh he actually oh wait look he got a, oh look he got a reply. No, if you drink orange juice now, it will activate the turtle's venom in your veins and send you into a coma. Didn't anyone ever tell you this before? <laughs> well, there you go. You can't drink orange juice. You'll go into a coma because you'll, you'll, activate, you'll activate the venom. <laughs> My girlfriend is pregnant and we didn't have sex. How could this have happened? Um, it's the second coming of Jesus. Mate, I hate to break it to you, but your bitch has been cheating. God. Are there birds in Canada? Yes, there are. <laughs> there are birds everywhere. In every country, there are birds. What the... How could you think this? I mean, they've even got a bloody goose called a Canada goose. What the hell? <laughs> I'm a Jesus. <laughs> I made Jesus shaped pancakes, but I burnt them. Am I going to hell? <laughs> oh my goodness, mate. Don't worry, you're not gonna go to hell. Wow, how could you even think that? How could you even think that? I don't... This person's got to be so, like, really hardcore religious to believe that. I don't know, like... Insanely, like... Mentally insane about religion to think that. Oh my god. How can I prevent my boyfriend from finding out I poop? So my boyfriend and I have been going out for two months now and he's asked me to come spend a week with him up at his cottage. Whenever I stay at his place, I always just hold it in. But there's no way I'd be able to last a week without pooping. He's a little immature and still thinks that girls don't poop. And I'm afraid that if he finds out I do, he might break up with me. How can I avoid that whole situation? Well, you're gonna have to sit your boyfriend down. You're just gonna have to say to him like, babe, you know when your parents sat you down and said, uh, Father Christmas doesn't exist and the Easter Bunny doesn't exist and, well, it's, well, what I'm about to tell you is kind of like that. Girls poo. They poo. I can imagine his reaction being like, No. No. It's not true. That's impossible. Search your feelings. You 
no women pool. No! No! <laughs> oh my god. How can you... They, how can you think that girls don't poop? I mean, I like. All right, maybe guys, maybe there are guys out there that just that just don't want to imagine any like fine, you know, fine woman just sitting on the toilet and going, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just they nick us down and everything. Girls poo, okay, get over it. Jeez, is a is a egg a fruit or a vegetable? My stepson is doing a poem and wants to know if an egg is uh, is is fruit or vegetable. <sighs> well, considering that fruit and vegetables grow from the ground and from trees and from bushes, and an egg comes out of a chicken's asshole. <laughs> Neither are skeletons real or made up. <laughs> you've got, you've got. This has got to be a, mate. This has got to be a joke. This has got to be a joke. This has got to be a joke. <laughs> have you never been to one? Have you never been to a science class where the skeleton, the, you know, the model skeleton, is hanging there? Have you never seen a? Have you never seen anything on the internet or on movies or TV shows where someone's skeleton is revealed or you know someone dies and you know they they go? You know, it's still, oh God, this can't be a real question. This guy is a. This guy just. Oh, I can't even speak properly now. Are skeletons real or made up? <laughs> I want a new letter in the alphabet. Is it possible to make a new letter and put it in the alphabet? Why, why, why would you want a new letter in the alphabet? Is there something you want to... You know, is, is, is there something or someone or that you want to give it a unique name or something? I don't... I, no, you can't have a new letter in the, in the alphabet. What, what the hell? Right, guys, I think I've had enough for one day of, of really silly questions. <laughs> How do these people write these questions without thinking, without doing any research or anything like that? It's, it's not hard to research these things. It's... <laughs> oh, God. Some of these questions just absolutely blew my mind. Absolutely blew my mind. It's just... <laughs> anyway. Anyway, guys. Look. Thanks very much for stopping by and checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to click down to the link down below to my playlist of uh, other dumbass uh, stuff videos. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys later on the next video. The Greek is out. Bye.